This is a bonus episode featuring Carla Azar's answers to your questions. You can hear Carla's entire full-length episode if you subscribe to The Trap Set on iTunes or your favorite podcast app. Donnie asks about your collaboration with PJ Harvey and John Parrish. Autolux uh, in 2006 uh, opened for Queens of the Stone Age at the Wiltern Theater. And the next day after, we played two shows. The next day after our last show, um, my manager, our Autolux manager called me and said that, she said, PJ Harvey's is wants to, your number. And um, I said, yeah, don't give it to her, <laughs> especially her. <laughs> What? <laughs> no, no. I said I was so excited. I I said, yeah, give it to her. So uh, she called me and she said she wanted to work with me and she loved Autolux. She said, I want to, I don't know when, but I would also love to work with, you know, tour with you guys or do something. And we ended up tour- opening for her later. But um, so she, so we got, we got, I mean, we, we, uh, not together, and we really hit it off beyond just the musical, our musical tastes and sensibilities. I don't know if it's because we both came from the countryside. She's from the country in England, Dorset. But we really were very similar. So, I, somebody that I've, a female that I actually, for the first time in my life, I'd never had a female musician friend in my entire life, a close friend. Why? I don't know. I just, there, I don't know. I, I know I know a lot of female musicians, but I'd never connected with someone on that level. And so we we started a friendship that was really great and musical tastes, you know, are very similar people. And she asked me to then um she wanted to, the first thing that came up after I, we met was the PJ Harvey John Parrish album and she wanted me to come and do some stuff on that, even though John had played drum drums on some of it already, I think. So I went and did that, and so yeah, there's that. Chris asks, what's your go-to paradiddle and why? A go-to paradiddle? That's a good answer. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Joe asks, how do your beats and grooves evolve with auto lux when you're conceiving them? And are you trying to lock in with one particular element? I, with auto lux, most of the beats are evolving by playing sections over and over again a- until something starts feeling hypnotic. For example, uh, once I get a basic beat for something, then, and then the song becomes a song, it might evolve a little bit more, but I always feel as though if a verse can be played endlessly and you never want to stop ever, and it makes you sad to stop, it must be there. It must be good. And then that stops then. They, they stop like evolving, evolving because I feel like if you just never want to stop hearing something, that's always a good, good place to be in a, in a I feel that way about Be- Ringo Starr's playing and Beatles songs have you ever met Ringo no never he's a hero of mine Aj asks about the story when you were opening for Elvis Costello and broke your elbow yeah what happened and how <clears throat> did you come back from it the first thing everyone needs to know is we got booed every single night opening for Elvis Costello that's what I think about um but just because it was a different wrong match. <laughs> Although Elvis loved he loved it. He loves our band. I uh after the last show we played with them in LA, uh I uh was standing at the edge of the stage talking to a friend after we played, before Elvis played, and I was unconsciously putting cables over my feet and then I needed to jump down and help her get backstage. And I forgot that I had put the cables over my feet and I jumped off the stage, tripped myself and landed on the concrete floor, my elbow and crushed, crushed it. And 
broke it in five places and crushed another piece and found a great surgeon who does Lakers and things like that, elbow specialist, and I have eight screws in my elbow now. How long did it take to recover? Four months. That's not much at all. No. Because you're a badass. All right, Carla, that's enough for now. Thank you so much.